Wait here. Stand guard in case we missed anyone. You can handle him? He won't know what hit him. Easy, easy. I'm not gonna. I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. Okay. I'm just gonna move over here. <sighs> Stay the hell away from me! Hold on, hold on now. We're not with them. You think I give a damn who you are? Okay. Okay. How was that? Just your typical damsel in distress. Vasquez? Done. Way done. Captain Corey? Come in. This is Corey. We're here. Heading up the road to the main gate. Hold your position there. We're coming. What about the enemy? They've been, uh, uh neutralized. Uh. Hold your position. Curry out. Come on. We brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Oh, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you passed. Oh, you ready to meet the Colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why the hell not? <laughs> So, St. John, where did you serve before the ship went down? And you know what an MRE looks like. You know how to recon an enemy position. You know cover in advance, tactical maneuvers. So, where did you serve? Marines? Army? Target on their back. I, uh, I was in the army, 10th Mountain. I did a full tour in Afghanistan. So how about you? Anyone who's ex-military has a a certain bearing. None of your soldiers have it, but you do. Like I said, you got a good eye. I was in the Air Force 10 years. Part of sack. There ain't no missile silos in Oregon. I was on vacation, believe it or not. I was lucky. Before SATCOM went down, I got hourly reports from across the country. You think it was bad out here? Everything east of the Mississippi was overrun within two days. Hold up. I want to show you something. So, are you familiar with this area? 
Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. Uh, it sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. So maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here uh, a few summers back. Me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pick? Uh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> Her name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago. Hmm. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why, because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. <sighs> Speak for yourself. After you. Mm. All right. Uh, you know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chival what? <laughs> no, it means, um... Right. I never learn. I'm sorry about that. Oh my god, you should have seen the look on your face. Oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did. So, where are we going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. <laughs> what would my mom say if she knew I was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw biker? I don't know. She'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. Very funny. No, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, come on, Deacon, I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I mean, I, just, I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, I mean, there's that. The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in. Oh, well, oh, oh, wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there. That's true, but we don't live there. And second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhDs to be very sexy. <laughs> I bet. So, he knows it's way past my bedtime. Oh, I know. Come on, stop. I mean, I really do have to get up early. Yeah? Uh, how's that going? I mean, uh, well, you never want to talk about it, so... It's nothing. It's just... Ugh, it's just this project, and we've got these execs flying in from New York to audit our progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even showing me the spec, and... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... You know what, like I said, it's nothing. Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah, no problem. Oh, wait, is this a pop card? Is this what you 
wanted to show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system. So this here, this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that, pot farm. You dragged me up in the middle of the night to the middle of nowhere to show me the MC's illegal growing operation. Uh, yeah. I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation. Put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, DQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. You think I would learn? You think I would learn, but I never learn. Nope. Oh my God. God, look at that moonlight. It is, it's so beautiful. Keep going. Uh, we're almost there. You ever wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this? What, you mean, like, all dark and shadowy and depressing? I mean, the moonlight, the wildflowers, the fireflies. Oh, I see you were kidding again. Okay, you don't take anything seriously. Oh, I take everything seriously. Oh, yeah, right. I do. You do not. Like, when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh-uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone and I took a picture. You want me to show you? My God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay. First of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. That is a huge commitment. Well, I mean, do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? Okay, see, there you go again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Okay, all right. We do need to talk about it, and we will talk about it, but just hold on for a second, because I want to <laughs> I want to show you something, okay? See? This is why I brought you out here. <sighs> wow, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. <laughs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? <gasps> Deacon? Will you... Will I? Will you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so that a yes? On two conditions. Name him. Okay, well, the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're gonna ride me as much as your bike. Done, I couldn't promise that anyway. Oh, stop. Okay, the second one, the second one is that you never leave me. Done. God, did you just break your biker ring off my finger? Uh, you know what, <laughs> I think I probably Ooh. did. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. It's so cute with its little fangs just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skulls. Dog skulls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. No, oh, it's Morier Invictus. <sighs> it means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. Well, you're going to get me. Real ring, though, right? But not that this one's no, not absolutely, great. Absolutely, because I, I just you know, thought that's my ring. Yeah. Right, it's your that. ring. Right. Something more simple, without fangs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. oh, shit, I'm sorry. No, it's your ring. It's the lab. I gotta get it. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. No, no, no. It's fine. I'll be right there. Okay. Bye. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute? Like, th this time of night? I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on.
My wife's name was uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go. Sorry, what's that? To not have any photos of your wife, and family. Yeah, why do you say that? Back in the day, everyone used smartphones. That's where we kept all our photos. When phones went away, when the cloud went away, our photos went with them. Yeah, I guess I hadn't thought about that. My wife, Carrie. Her father was a photographer. Old school. Dark room, chemicals, all that. Too stubborn to embrace the digital age, I think. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any photos either. Yeah, well, I hated them. Cell phones, I mean. It seemed like everyone walked around with their noses buried in the damn things. I never owned one. Interesting. How'd you manage that? I worked as a mechanic. I, uh, I had my own shop. Probably had the last landline in farewell. What's up, soldier? You guys are taking this shit seriously. The Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up. I'm going as fast as I can. Just move it! Is that your idea of motivation? The Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. I'll bet. Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. Stand up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. Got your ass too, huh? Whatever. Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of the preacher man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps were riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. The side shit's just gonna get stolen. Come on, cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Tin hot! At ease. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited, recruited by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Atkins, Crystal, sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you! We have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive, to stay alive. The Almighty understands this. Right. The Almighty yeah. forgives Amen. this. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but here. On this woman's face <laughs> are the footprints of Satan. Prison tattoos. 
proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. It's people like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What? Ah. You! Fuck you! Come oh. on, gorgeous! Let's go. Goddamn redneck asshole! Get off of me! <laughs> what about you? Uh, Taylor. Uh, wait. And um, no, sir. I uh, never been to jail. Never killed anyone. Nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I know, I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid. At a camp near Klamath Falls, it got. And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain, Iraq, Afghanistan. Honorable service, and don't lie to me. I'll know. Served one tour, served with honor, hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new constitution of these United States? Against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question. So, do you swear? I swear. Walk with me, son. How's it going, soldier? Captain Curry doesn't bring me many recruits these days. He must think highly of your combat skills. Oh, I've been in the shit a long time. You know your way around the freaks? Yes, sir. I, uh, I know as much as anyone, sir. Good, good. In here. We'll have the doc take a look at you. Pulse is strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Thank you. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc? Ah, he's fit to serve. Lo hará bien. You doing runs out in the shit? <laughs> Sorry, Doc. Uh, ya tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. <laughs> Let's go, son. I normally don't tolerate insubordination, referring to an officer as a witch. But I make exceptions for some of my more eccentric officers. Yes, sir. I make exceptions, because every man and woman still living has a role to play. Do you believe in God, St. John? Never gave it much thought, sir. Well, it's high time that you did. He has a plan for us, all of us. And my part is this. Sir? This place, I had a vision. Oh, nothing so grand as those described in the Old Testament. No flaming chariots or burning bushes. I simply woke up one morning before God's plague had rained down upon the world and knew that this was the place. Crater Lake, uh, Wizard Island. I call it the Ark. Are you familiar with the story? Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. I mean, everyone's everyone's heard of it. Indeed. You'd be surprised how few have read the Bible or the Book of Revelations. You mean Genesis, Noah's story. I mean, uh, that... It's, it's the Book of Genesis, sir. Yes, of course.
Okay, son, let's get you squared away. Whatever you say. Now, we don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I think that... Uh, oh, here. Try this on. Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? <laughs> Not many of those left anymore, are there? No, there are enough. Okay, soldier. But I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. And normally, we start new recruits in the rank of private. But since... Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field. We are starting you out at the rank of corporal. Thank Congratulations, you. son. Thank you, sir. Yeah, let's get you some work. All right, now what was I saying? Uh, you were telling me about the Ark, sir. Yes. The Ark. What you see here is only a small part of it. Behind us is a whole network of caves and vents that lead from here up to the Cone's Peak. When our work is complete, they will be filled with thousands of seeds, plants, computer files, and books. The world may die, but our achievements in medicine, science, and technology will not die with it. No, sir. But the island is more than just an Ark. It is a stronghold, a fortress. Here at the North Gate, we are stockpiling enough munitions to take the fight to the freaks. We have rifles, grenades, heavy machine guns, and RPGs. We have the equipment to make ammunition, every type, every caliber. This is our mechanical engineering area. If you need your bike repaired, see the officer on duty. And as you can see here, courtesy of the old National Guard, we are building a fleet of trucks and other vehicles. Once the hordes are cleared from the highways, we will begin to rebuild the roads and bridges. Your slash and burn strategy may stop newts and swarmers, but it won't clear the highway. It won't, it won't stop the hordes, sir. We are aware, Corporal. The hordes. The hordes are a different beast entirely, aren't they? But we have a plan. Plan, sir? Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. We are not going to fail. The heart of the army lives here, at the gate, ready to move on my command. These tents house hundreds of women and men, just like yourself, who have pledged and sworn their lives to the fight. But I have something else in mind for you. An assignment that requires more than just the ability to survive in the shit or use a gun. Are you up for it, son? Uh, yes, sir. Wherever you need me. You asked how we were going to defeat the Horde? Let me show you. Don't get in my way. Now! Shit! You okay, Lieutenant? Oh. Hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Defeat the enemy. Sorry. But yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. St. John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? Corporal St. John is new to Quarry's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit, he's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. There's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphthenic and palmitic acid. Mm, you working on napalm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where are you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant.
Again, let me apologize for my more eccentric officers. No need, sir. We have one final stop. As much as I believe in Lieutenant Weaver's work, what you're about to see could be, I think, our path to victory. All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, why don't you read it? Active ingredients. Chlor chlor chloroform and uh, eight terp turpin turp Get out. Shit. Get out! Matt. I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. He's got some experience out on the ship. Read this. What? Read this. I mean, you can read, can't you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, halothic acid. Good enough. When can he start? Ah, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Sir. Stand at attention. Dad. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. I'm right here. Wait, wait a, wait a second. I, I don't understand. I couldn't I find you. You had died, and I. Uh, no, we were overrun, and, and we had to go south. We, Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made it out. Ryan and Farewell was away. overrun. They said that everybody the was dead. And I, didn't think that I never thought I would see you again. Listen, now we can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't look back. Come Please, on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Are they forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I didn't come here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. <sighs> Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. Corporal St. John to Lieutenant Weaver. Come back. St. John to HQ. This is Weaver. What can I do for you, Corporal? 
Uh, your requisition form says you need mercury. Any idea where I can get it? Yeah, sure. I should have written that shit down for you. It comes from, uh, Cinnabar. Corey's unit scattered out of mine north of Diamond Lake. Head there, radio me when you arrive. Yes, sir. Hey, between you and me, if the colonel isn't around, stop with all the yes sir, no sir bullshit, all right? Makes me feel old.